What language do they speak in Antigua? English Antigua and Barbuda, official language. Do I need a passport for Antigua? Note. Generally, all U.S. citizens are required to present a valid U.S. passport when traveling to Antigua and Barbuda, as well as proof of anticipated departure from the country. This includes travelers arriving by airplane and by private seagoing vessel. Is Antigua rich or poor? In Antigua and Barbuda, there are disparities in the distribution of poverty by geographic region and age group. In 2007, poverty in St. John's, the country's most urbanized city, reached 22.3%, while poverty in the parish of St. Philip, located at the extreme eastern end of the island of Antigua, reached 25.9%. Is it cheap to visit Antigua? For eight days in Antigua and Barbuda, we spent $2,912. That is $364 per day, only $182 per person per day. If you take away the cost of the room, since you'll be booking that ahead of time, we spent less than $100 per day, person on our food, drinks, and excursions. Is Antigua a U.S. ally? The United States established diplomatic relations with Antigua and Barbuda in 1981 following its independence from the United Kingdom, and the countries enjoy a friendly and cooperative relationship. What kind of food is in Antigua? Jerk Chicken Although jerk chicken originated in Jamaica, its popularity made it a staple recipe throughout the Caribbean. tamarind balls, saltfish and fungi, saltfish. What ethnicity is Antigua? Ethnic groups. Antigua has a population of 93,219, mostly made up of people of West African, British, and Portuguese descent. The ethnic distribution consists of 91% black, 4.4% mixed race, 1.7% white, and 2.9% other primarily East Indian. Most whites are of British descent. What currency does Antigua use? The official currency of Antigua is the Eastern Caribbean dollar which is fixed to the US dollar. Asterisk US currency, traveler's checks, and major credit cards, excluding Amex, are accepted. Is it safe to walk around Antigua? There are no specific areas of Antigua that should be purposefully avoided. However, there are some areas that you should be especially careful in, to avoid petty crime like pickpocketing. Crowded places like the markets, and popular areas around Park Central are often very busy with tourists. 